Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Haven World Adventures. Now there are some things that I'm going to talk about a little bit closer to the end of this video that are to do with the new event. But for the exotic horses that I was collecting, as you can see, this is the progress that I had made at the time. So the one that was on the new breeding map was the Tribal Arrow. So you need the Australian Draft, the Malari, the American Warmblood, the Exclusive Shetland Pony, the Black Forest, the Tribe Whip, which we did get to breed Tribe Arrow. So this is the horse that we're gonna go ahead here now and try for, because I do have the horses that we require for this. So let's go ahead and get this one. So we're gonna take our tier three to our Black Forest here. All right, what percentage? We have a 47% chance of landing it, but I am going to use the free videos. Okay, it's up to 82% now, so we have a really decent chance of landing this horse. Right, come on. Come on. Ooh, that was going close to the blue bit, but we're good, we got it. Perfect. So there we have the Tribe Arrow Tier 1. So we're gonna go ahead here now, feed this one to level 5, and then I'm gonna take this Tier 1 to somebody else's Tier 3, ideally if there's one available, and try and get a tier 3, I'm hoping. If we get a tier 2, it's fine though. So there is the Tribe Arrow tier 1. We got the really pretty green eyes, which I think really suit this horse. So here is the tier 3 of the Tribe Arrow. So I'm using my tier 1, friend's tier 3, and we're gonna go ahead and try and get this one. Now it's a 6% chance to get this Tribe Arrow. I am actually not going to use the free videos for this. We have a 44% chance of landing on the tier 2 and a 50% chance of getting another tier 1. So hopefully we don't land a tier 1 because it is a very low chance of getting the tier 3. Come on. Oh, okay. Well, tier 2. We're I think we're okay with that. So here is the tier 4 Amethyst Fairy Corn that we're going to try breeding. So I'm going to probably try breeding this in two different ranches, so we are going to spend some diamonds to try this. This is a really pretty horse. I really like this. It's one of the fantasy horses, so it is going to cost us about 20 diamonds for this. And um, we are going to watch videos to increase it up from 29%. It's on 74 now. We have a really good chance of getting this tier 4. Come on. Come on, come on, please. No, you're joking. Uh, I don't want this to be a repeat of the other tier four that we just can't get. So here is the tier two tribe arrow that I've got to level five. So we're gonna take this horse now and we're gonna go ahead and try again for the tier three. Okay, let's see what chances we have with our tier 2 to try and get the tier 3. It's gone up to 8%, which isn't a massive increase. So I am going to use the videos if they're available. Yeah, we can use some videos for this. So we'll go ahead and we'll watch as many as we can to increase our chances on this. We're up to 53%. We'll see how this goes. Come on. Yes, we got it. Okay, well that's good. So we literally have the tier 3 Tribarrow, and it's a legendary as well. So this would be quite an easy one to diamond, because you wouldn't have to go up too far with it as well, which is nice. So here is the Oriental Phoenix, and this is gorgeous. This is a really just wow looking horse, I have to say. Collect four horses of Atlantis horses to get the jelly for free. Get them from the coupon shop. You can get enough coupons from the Lucky Sprint event. Okay, so we've got Jelly Princess. We already have one of these horses, um, as you can see. Can't view them here. So we might have to see where else that we can actually have a look at these horses. Because right now, when you click on them in here, it doesn't give you the option to view them. So here is the Lucky Sprint event. This ends in 35 days. I detest this event. Um, so we've got horse racing, steeplechases, and dressage, and um, I just do not like this event, and this event has actually been made worse. So here's the milestones. Um, Golden Tail is available on those milestones, as well as some diamonds and some um, cosmetic items as well. 
Um, so you probably noticed already that to roll once is 10. And um, from the things that we can gather, we can get nine points. So within one day, we can't even earn one roll. And if we remember back to the other Lucky Sprint event that we did before, um, it was super rigged. I don't expect this to be any different. Uh, so we get 100% points bonus from the activities in seven days, and then you can buy them with diamonds. So you can buy 100, which is what, 10 rolls. Not exactly fantastic. So... Honestly, with this event, I have seen a lot of feedback about this event on Facebook and um, very, very annoyed player base, and I'm definitely one of them. I think this is pretty horrendous, to be honest, for an event. If you have any thoughts and feelings about it, let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to discuss it. So um, if you're in the top ranking, then you'll get Oriental Phoenix in the top 10. and. Um, so here in the coupon shop, it takes five coupons to get any of these horses. Now, this is the one that we already have, so that's not one I'm worried about. Um, Peritrosis, I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly, but that horse was available to buy a little while ago, so you can get it in a coupon here. Now, I do like this horse, Orca. Um, I do like the look of this one. And um, then we have Coral, which is this one here, which is quite an interesting design. Um, that one is eight coupons rather than five. So here in the Horsepedia, we'll have a quick look. So obviously we've got Jelly here, and the tier two and the three of that. We also have Oriental Phoenix, which is the one we were admiring at the start. There's the tier two and the tier three of that one. And then we also have Orca, and there's the tier two. Now the tier three, I don't know why that's pink. Um, I feel like the first one is probably the closest to what it is sort of named after. Um, we have Carl here, which is available in a few different colors when you go up in the tiers. Um, some of these horses might have already been added and I just haven't really looked. Here's Golden Tail, the one that is available in the Lucky Sprint. I can't see me actually being able to get this based on the point system at all. I um, think we also have some new ones that are also here. I don't know if this one was recently added, Carpo, or if this is one I just missed. It looks quite interesting. Um, I don't know that I saw this one before as well. There's some of these horses that may have been added, and just because I don't actually um, buy some of the more exclusive horses, that is maybe why. I'm not sure about Venus. I feel like maybe I have seen Venus before. There's other ones there that I know I've definitely seen already in previous updates. So I really want to know what you guys are thinking because I feel like in the past, let's say, you know, Horsehaven would have had one free horse in an event and then would have had one that you had to pay for in some manner and it was locked behind that paywall. I think that's absolutely fine. But what has then sort of happened, and I talked about this several videos ago that I personally was feeling very overwhelmed. Some of you guys felt that you were feeling overwhelmed. Other guys were like, no, I'm actually quite happy with it. Where they were adding lots and lots of horses in very short periods of time. And some of those horses were earnable for free. And then some of those horses were obviously locked behind and you had to pay for. Um, and what I think they're at risk of doing right now is they have basically tried in a very short period of time as far as I can see um, to keep a very large number of horses but push the horses that you could earn for free as far away from as you know as possible so yes there are horses there in that lucky sprint event I could hypothetically use the diamonds that I have used with my Mustang farming to earn golden tail but I probably won't do it because it's one horse and it will wipe out my diamonds and there's absolutely no guarantee that I'll necessarily get it because my previous experience of the sprint, the lucky sprint event, was the rigged sprint event really. Um, it was a rigged board, every time I was rolling I was getting the same lands and stuff like that. Just overall way that I feel like they're going about this is they've suddenly got still lots and lots of horses but they're pushing it um, behind a way that you're going to have to spend money one way or another or spend a huge amount of your time. and. If the game had always been like that and people were used to that and that was what people expected, you know, you wouldn't be isolating so many of your players. I think the fact that they've done this in such quite a, only in a couple of months actually, is kind of what happened with Horse for me, where we had, 
you know, every once in a while we got a horse, an exclusive horse that you had to pay for. So plenty of us were willing to pay for that horse. And then what happened was they suddenly started to bring out events so frequently that it started to feel quite overwhelming for a lot of people. Now, there was a period of time where a lot of people said, you know, your entire player base is going to quit. And of course, the entire player base didn't quit. But what did happen is it isolated a lot of their players and it isolated plenty of people who spend a lot of money on the game. So I would sort of put a decent amount of a bet on that similar thing could happen here, where suddenly you're expected to shell out real money or like farm incredible amounts of diamonds um, and have to spend a huge amount of time doing that to keep up with the diamonds that you would need to even get some of these horses. And especially if you don't have at least one free horse available, whenever you have always done that in the past, that's gonna piss people off. And I think that is maybe where we are right now. Um, so I do want to know what you are thinking with this personally. Do you think um, this is fair of them to do? Do you think it's fine? Are you happy with it? Or is it something that you as either a new player or a long time player or someone who collects all the horses is like, no, this isn't going to stand? Um, because I feel like that is kind of where this sort of happens sometimes in games where people either say I've had enough and they quit or they continue to play and just don't financially support the game anymore and then you'll have people who are coming into it new and this is kind of what to them is how the game has always been because they've only just started. So I would love to know your thoughts. Leave them down below whether you're happy about it, whether you're not happy about it. I want to know because I'd love to discuss it. So anyway scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you have a lovely day. Huh? Bye!